Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you something for the beginners. How to start your commando build, what to do step by step to go strong on the commando as I was getting a lot of requests how to do this build if you are a beginner. What you should focus on, what's the most important and how to get there. Therefore I will cover that in here. If you are an experienced player, please share your tips and tricks for new commando players in comment section. That can be helpful. And now without further ado, let's go for my build walkthrough. And let me start with some perks. At this moment, this is a setup you should be aiming for and you should achieve this setup at around level like 20, 23, something like that. It should be the point you will be able to have all those perks equipped. And as you can see, the focus is highly on the agility. And let me go step by step. What and why? Strength and endurance. You will put there whatever you will get for free from the perk card packs. Those are not important. Perception, you only need concentrated fire. If you'll get lucky, you'll get it for free for per cut pack. Under charisma, you really want to get this experience a little bit faster than for inspirational is very important. And you always want to join casual team, whatever you are doing. You don't need to be with your team. You would like to join one. Under intelligence, we will have gunsmith, just rank two, that should be enough early on to do the essential modifications for your weapons. And agility, that's important. You have action point for faster AP refresh as commando is based on VATS. You will start to get used to VATS early on. After that, you have through hiker. It's like, it's not essential, but the point here is you really want to fill up agility part as soon as possible. Therefore, you need to take a lot of perks that can fit and help you a little bit early on under agility. Some of them will be changed later on when you will go into the higher levels. Then we have Gorilla. And you can be surprised in here, but early on, you will have much easier time getting automatic pistol variant than getting commando rifle automatic one. And you cannot take early on all the commando perks under perception. And on top of that, as I said, you want to max out agility first. Therefore, this card later on will get replaced and scrapped, but not, not a waste, as you still need perk points to buy your legendary perks later on. Therefore, you are still really good with that choice. Next, evasive. This was helpful early on. Extra resistance from your agility. That helps when you will get detected and your stealth breaks. After that, born survival, early on quite helpful as you do not need to remember about your steam packs. You don't need to use them manually. They will be triggered automatically. And finally, sneak. Unfortunately, sneak requires level 20. Therefore, it will be your last card that you will add to agility at level 20, 21, 22. Next, luck. You actually have two options. You can have good with salt if you plan to keep food for longer. But I would recommend more than that using Serendipity. And you can be surprised why am I recommending card that works only at low health? That's because I do recommend all the mutations. And of course, if you want to see, I don't have any legendary perks equipped. I'm showing you everything that you will need early on. I'm not cheating. Now look at my mutations tab. Those are all mutations with one exception. You will either get herbivore or carnivore. But in our scenario, it absolutely doesn't matter. Whatever you will get, you're good. You just want all mutations. If you do not know how to get all the mutations, I would put links somewhere on the screen and probably pin a comment with some helpful guides for new players. If you need more info, then you can just go to the pinned comment and click on the link. Now, why I do recommend all the mutations? One simple reason. Overall, when you apply all the mutations, there is more benefits than the side effects of having them. Therefore, it is beneficial to have all the mutations at once, especially for stealth builds. As I will just go here quickly over best positives and worst negatives and why you can tolerate those. First, adrenal reaction, it gives you huge damage boost when you have low health. 
and you can play easily at low health as a stealth build. Eagle Eyes help you with damage and accuracy in VAT, and you absolutely do not care about strength as you have one and it cannot go negative. Then there is Empath. You will take more damage, but it's not a problem as in stealth, you will avoid most damage anyway. And if you'll be lucky and you will get other Empath on your team, on your casual team, it will just negate this negative. Grounded. You are not bothered about energy damage as you will not be using any energy weapons and 100 energy resist is great. Healing factor. Normally I do not recommend this, but in your case you will rarely use any chems, therefore the side effect is not bad. Marzupial will give you a crazy jump height and extra carry weight, that's huge. That's huge, especially early on in the game. You'll be able to relocate and hide quickly wherever you want and take the high spot to snipe enemies. Then you have Scully skin. It does drain some of your AP, but with your agility focus, you will be good with AP and extra resistance is helpful. Talons is a bad one. It gives you absolutely no benefits and it does reduce your agility, but in the same time, you don't need to worry about it as other agility bonuses from other mutations will compensate for that. Twisted muscle reduce your gun accuracy, but it does not apply to VATs, therefore not too much worry for you. Now, early game gear. Weapons. When you will have absolutely nothing, bow is available very early and it's a perfect stealth weapon. You can craft it as soon as you finish early wayward questline. That's basically almost like a tutorial questline. Then you want to start with it, you will get your bow and the ability to craft some. You don't even need any modifications to make bow effective. If you buy some, that's cool, but it's only temporary weapon until you will get something different. And something different will be, for example, 10 millimeter pistol with any type of automatic receiver and suppressor. You need to be able to get this variant. Suppressor is a key. If you cannot use suppressor, you go back to bow. Other option, pipe auto pistol. There is a lot of pipe rifles, pipe pistols that you will scrap. Therefore, you should quite early be able to modify it as you need. And that's the biggest advantage of this gun. You should have modifications early on and you can see modifications that you are aiming for for this gun. Don't worry, if you cannot put them all, you will slowly unlock them. The suppressor, again, suppressor is the key. No suppressor, back to the bow. About the armor, just a shadow leather pieces. In my tutorial guide for new players, I explain as well how to get shadow leather early. You don't need any other modifications, just leather armor, shadowed modification. Just save caps to buy the plans for Shadowed. And let me quickly show you effectiveness of this build. Of course, don't forget to join the team. I'm currently not. Even if you are by yourself, always be on a team, like casual team, no matter what. And here's the special. Here's the special you will be getting thanks to all those mutations and sitting on the team. As you can see, there is plus almost everywhere, which means I'm getting bonuses to almost all my special with exception of endurance and strength, but we are not bothered by that. Therefore, all mutations is a benefit. And yes, it's better to only have good mutations, but you have no control over that until you unlock star genes and you will get enough caps to then buy mutation serums. And as you can see, I'm facing level 50 Scorched you will not be facing level 50 Scorch. You'll be facing level 20 Scorch like your level will be. It's a level 20 build, but I'm hitting level 50 enemies because that's my high level character. I just downscale everything to show you how effective this character is at lower level. And as you can see, even this bow can kill them. The problem is with trying to get a headshot with low accuracy, but if you get it, you will one shot all those enemies. I need to because they twice as high level as they supposed to be for this build. Level in this game do not give you more damage. Only your perks, your mutations, your gear, that what gives you more damage. 
Now let's change to 10 millimeter auto pistol and find more of the scourge. At the same time, I'm not using any buffs. Look at my accuracy in VATS. It's not bad. And you don't need to go for the headshot all the time. Torso shot is perfectly fine in most cases. I killed him. You will kill yours much faster as yours will be lower level. Where is the guy shooting at me? Hiding. Oh, another one. Okay, look at that. Pistol. Killed. Now the pipe weapon. Another enemy. And I have it hard as my enemies are level 50. I cannot get them lower. Your enemies will be level the same as your level will be. Then 20 something. Now let's try maybe for a headshot. And look at that. Even this pipe with a headshot, body shots, doesn't matter. And I do have enough AP. And I'm not currently using any food buffs. You should. Wherever you find some food that gives you extra agility, perception, extra AP, whatever, you use it. Let's go for a torso. And he's dead. There will be a lot of ammo needed when you start using automatic weapons. Luckily, 0.38 and 10 mm ammo, it's quite in abundance, almost everywhere. Therefore, you should be absolutely fine with those type of ammo. And you'll be saving 45 ammo for later when you get better stuff. Oh, legend, level 100 priest, that's, that's not for this build. This build is not intended to fight so high level stuff. And now let's jump into step two. What kind of perks and changes you will be doing when going towards level 50 and above. Now, this is the situation that you would expect to get at around level 55. And now what changes? As you can see, we have some bandolier under strength for you to be able to stockpile on a lot of ammo. After that, under perception, finally we have 15 perception and those are all our target perks for damage. You keep concentrated fire at rank 1, you will add Commando, Expert Commando, Ground Pounder, Tank Killer Max Out and Master Commando, it will be rank 2. As there is not enough space under Perception for Max Out rank, you would add Fireproof that will make you immune to Scorch Beast, Sonic Scream and every random grenade exploding next to you. You will be absolutely immune to everything that explodes, which is really helpful as even in stealth, you can be exposed to random explosions. Under Charisma, we have added Tenderizer and Strange in Numbers that will greatly boost your damage. Under Intelligence, we do need to upgrade Gunsmith to rank 3. You will need rank 3 to mod your Fixer and your Fixer you will get by going to the train station. You will read a poster about Ship Squatch. And after you start this quest from the poster, you will get one non-legendary fixer as your reward and how to get more fixers that's a little bit more tricky but you will figure it out from other of my guides if you want for now the one fixer that you will get from the quest line will be perfectly fine for most part for you you will just need to find a lot of combat rifles and scrap them to modify your fixer unless you will buy modify one from some player vendors if you choose this route then that's a big shortcut Next, Agility, we have Action Boy, Through Hiker and Sneak Perk, as it was, but then we have Escape Artist added, Gunfu added, Adrenaline added and Covert Operative added. As you can see, Gorilla is no longer here and Evasive is no longer in use either. Those were replaced with, with the new ones. Much more powerful ones, but you cannot have them early as they unlock later. And under luck, you have Serendipity Class Freak that greatly reduces all the side effects of your mutations as you would most likely still have them. As before you will switch to just selected pool of mutations, you need to buy all the serums and that's quite a lot of caps and looking for player vendors. Star Jeans, after this point, you will be able to use Radaways again and Good With Salt as this is a point where you will be around level 50 that you want to start making your experience buffs food experience buffs and leveling up higher to start adding legendary perks and as a commando first legendary perk that you would like to add and start upgrading will be follow through that's a great damage boost for all the commando builds especially when you will be fighting bosses that's when it's important now about the gear 
you will be aiming to get a fixer with following modifications. As you can see here, this is your target. You want those modifications. You want possibly level 50 fixer. Good news here, legendary, non-legendary. It's not important early on. You just want a level 50 fixer and those modifications. Of course, when you will start saving your legendary modules and course, you will change it into legendary and that's awesome. About the armor set, you will start aiming for full set of unyielding and armor choice here. It's a little bit more tricky as in your situation, you just want a full set of unyielding early on. I still, I still have this low level equipped. That's not important. You will be looking for unyielding pieces and you will try to complete a full set. And as well, you would like to have in your inventory Chinese stealth armor because it's a perfect stealth armor and hazmat suit in one. You will get it by doing the foundation quest line and you don't want to skip it. You want to do the foundation quest line until you get this stealth suit, even if you want to side with raiders at the crater. That's fine, you can still go and side with the crater after you unlock stealth suit, but you cannot do it otherwise. If you side with the crater for the final mission, you cannot go back and unlock stealth suit. That's why it's so important to unlock it first with the foundation. And now look how effective it will be. I still have just this level 20 leather shadow armor equipped. I will be using this non-legendary fixer level 50 and I have absolutely zero legendary perks equipped. Therefore, it is basically a level 55 build and I will be facing max out super mutants and I will show you how effective it is. And I'm not even on a team as I'm by myself. You'll be slightly stronger when you have more people on your team. But look at that. You will have absolutely no problem to kill them all. And I'm not running any, any food buffs at this moment. No food buffs. Uh, you can see my effect stab. I just have all those mutations. I, I don't even have full bars for food and water. It's not as important. It's like, it's go like through the butter. With the commando build, you go like through the butter. You will not encounter any serious problem. Your stealth should be good enough as long as you have full set of shadowed or if you will use a stealth suit. But as you can see, my stealth is not broken, I'm caution. I was hit by a stray bullet, but serendipity help. That's why you want this serendipity. It helps you when occasionally you will get hit, you will not die. Perfect. Super mutants killed. Now you may ask, what you will do next? What are the best food buffs to use? What kind of build? for the end game from this point, where you go with your legendary perks and so on. And good news for you here is I have plenty of end game guides, end game builds. Therefore, from this point, when you'll be around level 55 or slightly above with this build I'm showing you in here, you would just choose whatever end game build you are aiming for and follow the next guide. For this guide, early commando build, that will be about everything, but I will still answer your questions in the comments section. Or at least I will try to answer as many questions as I can. i a little bit afraid I can be more than I can answer, but I will do my best. I have some time off from work until New Year, then yeah, I will, I will do my best to help you out, guys. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.